Hello, my name is Casey Stubbs and I'm going to teach you how to avoid fake breakouts using a little known pattern called the megaphone or broadening formation. This is a big game changer, so make sure that you watch this video to the very end because there's two important tips that are hidden in here that will transform your trading. Without further ado, let's get going. All right, so uh, the first thing we need to know is that whenever a market is moving in a trend, uh, there's always going to be lines that are forming, invisible lines called trend lines. And what uh, most traders are always looking at is that they're looking for the trend lines underneath, right? So in this particular situation, we have trend lines and they're moving and they're going underneath the candles like that. But what a lot of uh, traders don't know is that there's also a trend line that runs along the top as well. So you can see how price gets up, gets rejected, price gets up, gets rejected, and it just continues. And so we know now that if it comes back up here, it is a very possibility that it gets rejected. So when you draw that along the top, just like that, you have a upward resistance point. Okay, now the next thing that you need to understand is that the market will then, when it's retracing, it will do it on the downside as well. So then you have another trend line moving down and it will hold here often. And uh, it's important to draw these out so that you can find potential reversals. And so one of the reasons why this pattern is so unknown is because everybody's teaching all of the time about the trend line on the bottom, like this trend line, right? Everyone's looking for this trend. And then if we continue to draw that out, we can see that it actually works, uh, but we actually have two trend lines. We have this one and we have that one. So when you have this, the two moving together, that will help you and increase your eyesight it increases your ability to see where a potential reversal can happen. So I always like to draw multiple trend lines and so I can see that these patterns, but once you see this pattern, they call this the broadening formation or the megaphone pattern. Once you see this, you'll begin to see it everywhere. It happens when the price is moving up and it happens when the price is moving down. Uh, so if we are, if we take this particular chart and we zoom out, we'll be able to find it in many other places because you just, once you see it, you can always begin to see it. So here's one right here, right? You see that it moves along the tops here and then we will draw another one down here along the bottom and you can see that it will continue. Uh, you'll see them all the time and they're great places where you can trade reversals when price hits here drops lower. It's a great place for reversal down here when it hits the bottom, reversal and pops up. Now the next part of this, which is the one that really takes traders out all of the time, and that is breakout trades. A lot of traders love to do breakout trades, but the problem is that they get faked out. Breakout traders get faked out because there's so many fake breakouts that it's difficult to, uh, to take a breakout trade. So in this perfect specific example, we might draw a line right here, okay? And this is a top. So we can see that we have a breakout. We have a top here and we have a top here. And so in this particular trade, we might want to take a breakout and there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly fine to do that. Uh, however, it ended up being a fake. You see that? This trend did not continue. It faked. And so what, when we understand what's happening behind the scenes, we know that price likes to move where the orders are and it will clear out all of these orders here. There's a lot of buyers buying here and a lot of people that had their stops. So a lot of people were shorting here and they put their stops and that gets triggered. Then the buyers will get triggered and it'll clear all of that, those orders. And then when the orders are all clear, 
price won't stay in that area because there's no more orders and it has to go back where the orders are because it's moved by supply and demand. The orders are like a vacuum. Price will suck right to where the orders are and that's why you see big price moves. So there were no orders and that's why you see these big, huge move down here to the support level where the orders were. Now, uh, the, the problem here is the point is that people are trading breakouts and I want to teach you how to use this megaphone pattern to avoid it. And if you would have known that there was an upward trend line here, uh, you possibly could have avoided this fake breakout. You see this? You, if you take a buy here, there, you're either going to do two things. Number one is you're not going to trade it because you don't have a good risk to reward. Your stop would be here and your target would be here. So that's not a great risk to reward. Well, it still might be okay. It's a one-to-one, -one, close to a one-to-one. -one. So I might take that trade, but what it will teach me is to take my profit here instead of holding and then getting stopped out. I can't tell you how many times I got stopped out of a trade because I'm like, yes, breakout, and then reverse, right? Yes, breakout, and then reverse. How many of you, let me know in the comments, have had a breakout and taken it and then it goes the other way? How many of you have had that happen? Me, me, me. If it's you, if you can relate, let me know in the comments. It's terrible. It's a terrible feeling. Well, if you use this megaphone, you will be able to see where it could potentially reverse. So there's two things you can do. Number one is you take your target here or number two, you wait and wait for it to break the top because when a megaphone top breaks, it's a great trade. That's a much better breakout. A megaphone top breakout is a much better breakout than a horizontal breakout in my opinion. You trade it yourself, test it for 20 trades, mark the results, and then come back to this video and let me know. And by the way, really important, I personally would watch this video at least 20 times. Now I know that's crazy, but there's going to be things that you're going to learn every single time. So bookmark this video and watch it. And if you continue to watch this video, you're going to learn something new every time. And you might think I'm crazy, but don't tell me I'm crazy until you actually try it. That's one of my tricks for really learning information. And when I am studying my trading mentors, that's what I do. I do it over and over and over and over again until it really just, I absorb it. I absorb it from every, I absorb it in my mind, in my eyes. It just comes into my pores. Like I literally get this information on an extremely deep level. So that's what I recommend that you guys do. I know it's crazy, but try it out and let me know. Okay, so the other, now let's look at on the downside. So we have this line right here. Now, if we're trading, let's say we have a breakout right here, um, you know, we can see that we did get a breakout and we might have taken this trade. And then the exact same thing on the downside. And you could draw this a little differently here as well, right? So it depends on how you draw it. But either way, if you see this on the downside, you got the horizontal break, you've got the megaphone, and now you're getting a bounce. So two, again, two things. Number one, if you trade that breakout, you trade this one, this horizontal breakout, you know where to take profit. Or you wait for the bottom of the megaphone to break to take the trade, a much better trade. Now, another thing that you can do, though, another thing that you can do is, uh, and, and by the way, on these trend lines and stuff, you know, as you get used, don't, don't stress over how to draw them. Draw them how you see it and what you think because a lot of traders will be like, oh, do I use the wicks? Do I use the candle tops? Do I use the body? Just draw whatever you see and what fits and you're going to get better and better over time. But you don't want to get caught up on tiny little details. Look at the big picture and the big picture is keeping your risk small, keeping your losers small so that you will be a successful trader. So now, uh, back to my main point on this, you can trade it another way as well, which is the bounce off of this level. Because we have an uptrend, right? We have an uptrend here, and now we have a, a bounce here. And so we're like, okay, is this uptrend going to continue? So one thing we can do is look at price action patterns. And you can go to my next video, my last video, and so click up above to look at those or save it and learn those patterns to use off the megaphone pattern. It's an awesome combo. So if you get a nice, if you clear out these levels here, 
clear out all those trades, you're gonna go right to where the next level of support is, right up here. So this is an awesome trade right in here, but you gotta get the right price action pattern to understand how to trade that trade. So if you, so just in review, this is teaching about the megaphone or broadening formation pattern. And number two, how to use it to trade with the trend. Number three is how to use it to stop fake breakouts. Now that you have all that, now's your homework. Your homework is please leave a comment and let me know if you've ever heard this before or if this was helpful to you. I need to get feedback because I am craving your engagement. I, ha I really need to hear from you, so just let me know in the comments. Please like this video and subscribe if this was helpful, but let me know if you've ever heard this. Is this new? Was this helpful? And also, let me know what you want to do next. What do you, what do you need help with? What do you want me to do a video on next? The, the comments that get the most, I will do a video on that. So. I'm here to help. My entire team is here to help. We tell our students all the time, uh, if we don't know what you need, we can't help you. So be visible, engage with us, and we're going to help you get to making money in your weekly cash flow. All right, thank you, and we'll see you in the next week's video.